All right, welcome back everybody to a new video. Today I am going to do a small correction on the live stream I did yesterday uh, because we had some trouble uh, setting up the theme in stitches.js. So I'm going to link in the description the live stream um, and I'm going to show you how to do it properly because it got fixed today. So um, if I jump into the code, um, we are going to see the big problem was the version of stitches, um, which is like very, very new, as you can see. Um, basically, you will just have to set it as um, a new uh, version 002. And once you actually nuke this guy, there we go. NPMI. It is going to load the right version with the right uh, theme definition. So in version 001, you could only theme um, colors. And here with the version 002, you can actually have access to all of the tokens, just, just like uh, in your crit style here. So for instance, if I want to go in and change to make a dark theme for um, the, the buttons, I would need to set it as colors. I'm actually going to um, show side by side this guy here. So this is my default tokens. And now I can define whatever I want. So for instance, for my dark theme, if I want my, uh, let's say my buttons to be more padded, I can just go in and add space. And let's say I want to change medium is not going to be a 0 0.5, but 0 0.65. Let's go for one. Um, let's go for large is going to be two rem, maybe one five RAM and let's go the same for small, which is going to be twice as big 0 0.5 RAM. So if I save this, you see that my button um, went bigger. And just to make sure we are actually doing it properly, I am going to define two divs, get this one, the class name of uh, dark theme. Here I have another div here. We're going to duplicate this guy here. This one, no dark theme. And we need to fragment this back on. There we go. What did I miss? What did I miss? Class name cannot be just like this. All right, failed to compile. Oh, did I miss this? All right, so I'm going to put them side by side. So let's go very quickly, create a new side by side. It's a new styled, um, let's call it div for the time being and uh, it's going to be display grid <coughs> and the grid template is going to be uh, dark light auto 1fr 1fr and all of those are a string and now i can put this guy here this guy here and we have side by side our two theme so this div on the right side is going to be the default theme from your tokens you have here so uh, you see the backgrounds and everything and this dark theme is going to be defined uh, here so for instance if i want to change the background here to be um, yellow for instance it will only apply to 
that guy here. Um, and in our buttons, we use constructive, we use like different tokens, but uh, you can see it now works very well. And you can also define um, different font size as well. So it wouldn't be a dark theme anymore, um, of course. Um, but just to show you everything works just well, I think I just use the Excel in my demo. Uh, so here you go. And you see just erase and override just the theme on the left side. All right, so it all works well. Uh, make sure you use the version 002 at least, uh, or you'll have problem and you'll only be able to theme colors. And um, yeah, it's a very nice uh, and very quick update. I pinged them on uh, Twitter yesterday and uh, it was fixed today, so very, very nice. And um, it, uh, I think it makes the whole thing uh, of stitches possible so you can pretty much do everything you could uh, you want to do um, in style component you can do them in stitches as well um, the syntax is very different you need to get used to it but it also allow you to get some very very nice thing so um, yeah I'll most likely do a series if you're interested uh, on top of it and do like all of the um, documentation and also uh, build like um, an actual pages with it uh, to see how it looks like, um, not in production, but in something that could be production. All right. Um, as always, cheers and see you in the next video. See ya.